Welcome to the House of Grief. Or perhaps welcome is the wrong word, Shadowheart. There's been some debate whether you'd even show up and face the consequences of your actions. I assumed you tried to flee, like a craven. Spare me your venom. I'm sure the Mother Superior will have plenty of her own. All in due time. I met the man you've been who've been robbed of his memories. Your handiwork. This is a place of healing. Anyone who partook in our methods did so willingly, and left with a smile on their face, freed from their troubles. Would you accuse a surgeon of robbing a tumor? I think not. I don't know what's worse. Losing all free will or being robbed of your memories, especially the important memories. Let us pass. As I said, in due time. Yeah. First, you submit to the mapping of the heart. Only then can we know what is to be done with you. Mapping of the what? This is the house of grief. Yes, it is. We strive to help those whose hearts have grown heavy, be it with anger, melancholy, grief, or treachery. Submit to the mapping and reveal what lurks in your heart. If you consent, follow me. If you do not, leave. You seek to be unburdened, yes? The mapping of the heart can reveal the way. Yet, there is another here whose need is great. Her voice. Allow me. I think I'm supposed to do this. Go ahead. Do you know why you are here? There is something I lost. No. Had taken from me. My family. My life. No music in this scene, I by the way. I want it all back. Loss is a gift, girl. Do you still not understand that? Now give me the true answer. What is your purpose in being here? The artifact. Mean silent. I was sent to retrieve it. At any cost. And who tasked you with this mission? The Mother Superior of Sha... It's you. Give me the honor of my name. In full. I... I can't. My memories... I know what's in that head of yours better than you do, girl. My name. Mother Superior... Iconia Devere. You still have the wits to recognize your betters. Good. Now descend. You have much to answer for. They already heard how you disgraced yourself before Lady Shah. How she marked you as the enemy. But it is quite another thing for them to see it for themselves. I am very glad you decided to return. A cautionary tale such as yours will be studied by Lady Shah's initiates for years to come. But perhaps I can make a case for some small measure of mercy. Give me the artifact, and I can at least make this quick. Enough. I don't answer to you. Not anymore. I'm here for my family. Mm. That's right. I know what you did, and it's not going to be quick. This is your family, and now you have turned your back That's on That's a lie. It. The artifact was your last chance to prove yourself, and you squandered it. Why is the artifact so important to you? Whispers reached my ears from all corners. Potential rivals of Lady Shar. How do you? How does Lady Shar know price. what to deal with the artifact? They have absolutely no idea. The disaffected. The outcasts, those who should turn uh, to this us. is mumbo jumbo. This How does Lady Shar know what to do with the artifact? Start. They do not know. Disturbing the natural order and threatening they don't really know what to do with it, do they? Turn of Lady Shar's pure, endless darkness. Nah, it sounds like propaganda I to me. I had to act. I had to strangle that foul conspiracy while it was still These in the cradle. These people do not know what we to do with the artifact, do they? Could. 
the artifact was the one thing the absolutists feared. But do you know how the they're feared by it? Do you know how and grasp. the limitations of it? I had to. They don't it. know that. You thought you could best absolute the Kit Yankee? I highly doubt that. To fight so many foes openly could prove unwise. Shah's children are better deployed as daggers in the shadows, not massed upon a battlefield. It can't be in the so shadows the for this fight. fight while we wait. Once they are spent and bloodied from each other, we would slip in and take How do you the know that's going to happen? How do you know? Alas, most of those I sent perished. All but one. I should thank you. If you hadn't sent me on that suicide mission, I'd never have learned the truth. <laughs> you there! Surrender this one to me now. And you can consider Lady Shah's forces your allies in the battles to come. Oh my god. No. As you like. Lilala! For Shah! Shadowheart? I wasn't sure if I'd ever lay eyes on you again. It's me. Nocturne. Do you remember? Remind me? We... we trained together. We used to be... Close? I'm glad to see you're all right. I don't remember you. Oh. A pity. Perhaps we can talk some more later? That is, if you're not about to turn on me. It seems you no longer walk in the Dark Lady's shadow. Say nothing. Shah condemned me. By her decree, you and I are enemies. Only if you wish us to be. You may not remember, but... We shared a lot together once. Good times. Hard times. I will not turn on you, even if it angers Lady Shah. That's good enough for me. I'm not sure what I expected coming back to this place. I'm certainly not a friend. There must be all sorts you can tell me. Things I can't even remember. There are, but with the Mother Superior gone, I don't know if I can stay here to reminisce. Perhaps there's another enclave out there for me. You don't need Shah. You don't, perhaps. Not everyone is as brave. I'll leave come tomorrow. Come see me before then. I was working as Quartermaster. I can sell you some things to aid you. And we can catch up. Can you show anything when you were young? Well... You had a pet mouse for a while. It was against the rules, of course. You used to hide him under your robes and feed him from your rations. Do you have a name? <laughs> Nibbles. I suggested Bree, but you were having none of it. She caught you with him. Forced you to get rid of him in front of everyone. To wow. make an example. You always loved animals. But you never let yourself get too close after that. I'm sorry. Not the sort of thing you want to hear, I'm sure. I just suppose there are any pleasant memories you could share? Well... You know that little scar on your elbow? You know about that? It's barely the size of a pea. I was there when you picked that up. It was years ago when we were initiates. Some of the others were intent on tormenting us until you showed them the error of their ways. I think it was six against two? And most of them were bigger than us to boot, but you saw them off, all of them. There were some bruised lips and black eyes in the mess hall that night. And from then on, they left us alone. Or at least, they bothered us less. What about the scar? A collision between your elbow and the teeth of a girl called Buddock. She came away from it worse than you. She was on the same mission as you. I suppose she won't be coming back. In any case, the Mother Superior soon broke up the fighting, though she didn't punish us. In fact, I saw her smiling. I think she was proud of you. Anything else? Just small things. Silly things. The sort you'd scarcely recall even if your memories were left intact. You had a little hiding place that you went to when you needed to get away. You brought me there sometimes. We'd talk, play, read. Do each other's hair. I think I found the place you mean, beyond a storage area. You'd be the first. As quartermaster, I was able to keep it hidden back there, exactly as you left it. 
I mean, you said before you're the one responsible for my hair. The plat and fringe? Yes, on your instructions, of course. You were very intent on a bold look, I think you said. My hands were cramped by the time I finished, but you were very pleased. I like the new look as well, though. You always did like a dramatic touch. Oh, are you just going to remain here? There's no need, Viconia is gone. Remains to be seen. This place is all I've ever known. In time, perhaps I'll venture out there, see what I've been missing. But for now, old habits die hard. A huge polished disc looms before you. A mirror, one used by the Sharans to plunder memories from the minds of others. This feels familiar to me somehow. I'm sure I've stood before this mirror before. Many times. How perhaps. many freaking times you have to lose your memories? Oh, that's that's cruel. Critical freaking success. You feel a presence, dark and ancient. It approves of your fealty. To your surprise, the false memory is accepted. It fades from your mind as easily as it was conjured forth. A foreign sensation assails you. For a moment, you do not feel like yourself. A jumble of memories clamor for your attention. They range from ancient to new. But none are yours. Whatever power lurks deeper in the recesses of the mirror has no interest in you. The dark mirror seems to turn dormant, its hunger sated. You can't be. Another vile trick. No. There is no trick. It's her. Jennifer. Jen. Our little girl. Moon Maiden's grace. It is you. I'm here to get you out of here. They're all gone. It's over. It's not over. Can't rid of a goddess that easily. If anything I've learned so far from this universe is they can't get rid of goddesses that easily. It is not over. Thought so. You see, it matters not if you raise this place. If you slay every one of your brothers and sisters, that was never where my power is. And resided. we will never know, probably. Every time you try to step away from me, every time you try to reach for Saluna, my hold on you bites deeper. If you had learned, if you had obeyed, there would be no pain. But you struggle on. You will make things worse for yourself. And for them. I think this is stating the obvious. Robbing people's memories just to do your bidding, or what you think is the is is the right way. No, sorry. Can't have you know basic things. You're a monster, not a goddess. I am neither. I am nothing. I am the empty room, the dreamless sleep, the shadows shadow. There was no pain before my sister set the sun aflame. Now you exist to suffer until you find your way back to my embrace. Enough! I'm taking my parents away from here. I'm taking them away from you. You cannot. We are still bound to you. You cannot both free us and free yourself from her curse. Thought the so. Moon Maiden needs you more than she needs us. You are the future. You must return to the fold. We are the past. And our duty is almost done. Terrible. Eloquently put. His mind stood up well to his time here. The same cannot be said for your mother. Such brief, fragile lives humans lead. Thanks this again, is my Char. This final lesson. I leave you now to dwell on your mistakes and make your choice. Ah, this is no mistake. Shah's parting words make your flesh crawl. 
There is no lesson to be learned here. Only a family's torment, a spiteful goddess's whims, and an unspeakable choice to be made. Yeah. She's gone. I, do, I don't understand. Shah will never admit defeat. Not until she has stolen one last thing from you. We cannot allow your future to be her last prize. Not after all your mother and I have endured to see you again. Your companion understands, I think. Yeah. Help her, please. Help her see what must be done. <sighs> Even when I first heard about rescuing the parents, I knew it wasn't going to be very straightforward. It could be selfish, but I don't think it's that straightforward. You have to choose, Shadowheart. Free your parents, or rid yourself of Char's curse. No, I, I can't. I came here for them. And you did. You found us. All these years, that dream kept us going. That you would break free. No matter what they made you do to us, we knew you were still in there. I knew the Dark Woods wouldn't frighten you. You were always such a brave girl. She was. And still is. You've saved us. Now save yourself. You'll be out of Shah's reach, and we'll be at peace. But I only just found you again after all this time. I can't lose you again. We'll still be with you. By the Moon Maiden's grace, we'll never be far. Please, Jennifer. This is your choice, Shadowheart. You don't need me to tell you what is right. Is, is this, this truly, truly what, what you, you want? want? It is what we need, all of us. You were meant to be a guiding light for Saluna's faithful, but they robbed you from us. Now that can be righted, and we can rest. Help us, Jen. I can let go. Now I've seen your face again. Goodbye. Not goodbye. Not even close. What are those? Moonlight. They bring Saluna's light to dark places and offer guidance to those in need. My parents are watching over me. Let's leave this place. There's nothing more for me here. One thing. What should I call you now? Shadowheart? Genevel? Shadowheart. Still, I can't run away from who I was all this time. Besides, there's something fitting to it. Can't cast a shadow without some light. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while. Perhaps people lost faith. Or forgot about it. I wanted to come here. To see if I felt anything that I hadn't done before. Now that I know what I know. Now that I know who I am. And do you feel anything? Loss. Actual loss, not Shah's oblivion. I had my family. For too short a moment. Now they're gone. By my hand. You did what was necessary. You freed them. And yourself. But why does freedom have to feel like I've lost everything? Perhaps I could have saved them. Or perhaps Shah would have helped me forget them. Instead, I've neither. The choice here is obvious. Embrace her. But 
What's next? We carry on. It's all we can do. I'll follow in a while. I think I want to stay here a little longer, firstly. This place isn't familiar, but... It's peaceful. So what is it now? Shadowheart or Genevel? Shadowheart. She's as much a part of who I am as Genevel. Can't just forget her. It's not what I do anymore. Besides, Shadowheart still suits me. Even better than before, perhaps. You can't cast a shadow without some light. That's a very good quote from Shadowheart. Brilliant piece of work from this game.